All right, this is gonna be the easiest way to transfer from Android to an iPhone. This is a Samsung S20. This is a iPhone 13. This is gonna be the same example for other Android devices as well. But to get started, a lot of people, what they don't know is how to actually back up their contacts, photos and apps and other things in order to be able to transfer to an iPhone. Now, even if you don't transfer to an iPhone, this is still a great way to back up all your info for your Android, just in case you were to lose it one day or you decide to upgrade with another one, you'll, you'll have your photos and your contacts immediately as long as it's done properly. So to get started, this should take about two minutes altogether. So what you're gonna do when you get to any Android, you're gonna go to the contacts, not the dialer or the phone app. So you're gonna go to contacts, you're gonna go to manage contacts, you're gonna hit the option that says move, okay? So when you go to move, you're gonna select phone. I'll say nine out of 10 times, um, I work in the wireless industry and everyone saves it to their phone when it comes to Android one. So we're gonna select phone in this example. I only put one out as a testing because I have already transferred over, but just for the purpose of the example of the video, we're gonna select all, right? This could have been 30, 50, doesn't matter. You're gonna select all, you're gonna hit done here. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna select where to back it up to or move it to, right? So in this situation, you're always, always, always gonna wanna use the Gmail account you use to set up the Android phone. That's all that's gonna be linked to your uh your app drawer or your Google Photos. So again, you're gonna select the, the Gmail account. Then you're gonna hit move. It already moved it, done. That literally took seconds. And even if you had three, 400 contacts, it would take maybe 30 seconds to a minute or two max. Now, to back up your photos, whether it's a Samsung, a Pixel, a Motorola, LG, whatever it is, Download the Google Photos app, not the native photo gallery app that the phone has, but the Google Photos one. So download the Google Photos app, right? Then you're gonna select on the top right icon. You're gonna hit, see backup is off. So in this situation, that's my Gmail. I'm gonna put turn on backup. You're always gonna hit storage saver mode. The reason why I would suggest you use storage saver mode is because if you have, let's say 15, 20 gigs, um, you're going to be able to back up almost everything. Now, keep in mind that if you do it this way, it will be in a slightly lower resolution, but it should be okay. If you want original quality, meaning the same resolution that your phone already took, then you hit original quality. Just keep in mind that Google only gives you about 15 gigabytes to back up. So keep that in mind. So hit storage mode, hit confirm, boom. So here it is. So Google typically gives you 50 gigs of free storage. So I put storage saver mode and I have a ton of pictures backed up. I typically won't back up anything big like this. I'll just transfer it over or save it under Google Drive directly. But in this situation, for example, it says backup complete, right? So now that's already done with Android. So on the iPhone, supposed to be, you're gonna go to settings on the iPhone. Then you're gonna scroll all the way where it says mail, right? The native mail app to the iPhone. This is if you're transferring to the iPhone um, if you're not transferring to the iPhone, you just could successfully back up your contacts and your photos from your Android phone. So you're good to go. Peace out if that's all you want. So now if you do want to transfer, so I'm going to hit add account, go to Google, which is the Gmail one. I'm going to go to it. I'm going to log in. You enter your password. So once you've logged in to your Gmail account successfully, it'll take you here. Are you once you enter your Gmail email and your password will take you to this option. So at this point, what you're gonna end up doing is you're gonna end up, see how it is, says mail contact calendar. I also put notes on, you're gonna hit save. You're gonna go to contacts and look, everything's just loading right now. And it's still moving and it's still uploading because I just did it. And it looks like everything's already there. That's it. Now, that was just the context portion of it. Google Photos. So then you're gonna do the same thing uh, if you download it, the uh, Google Photos on the Android app, you're gonna do the same thing on the App Store for iPhone. You're gonna download the Google Photos app, which I've already done. Here it is. Once you log in with the Google Photos, everything's gonna be on there and that's it. And that's it, it's completed. That's transferring from Android to iPhone or just doing a full backup from your Google um, Gmail account for photos and contacts. Now, this does not transfer your apps. It will not, right? Because it's a different ecosystem. Same vice versa. Sometimes you can use Samsung Smart Switch from Samsung to Samsung or even sometimes third-party apps. So that's not that hard, but that's this is like a, 
a safe way to do it that takes pretty much under a minute to do uh, for the contacts. And now depending on how many photos you have, it can take anywhere from 10 to 20 to 30 minutes to upload and back up all your photos on two Google Photos. But from that point forward, once that's done, you can literally log into any phone, give them log into any phone with your Gmail and password, whether it's Android or iPhone, and your contacts will be there. So if you guys like this video, if it was helpful in any way, hit that like button. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.